All right, so now we're getting to, into some fun problems because now we're kind of missing some information. Uh, I'm given an equation that's in slope-intercept form, but I don't have all the information here. Um, I have my slope, so I can tell, determine that my slope is going to equal 7. All right, that one's easy, and we can just rewrite that as 7 over 1. Um, but now I have a problem with I don't see a y-intercept. Well, if I don't see something, and remember, it's always plus your y-intercept. So if I'm plusing something that's not going to change this answer, what can I add to something? Like 1 plus what is still going to equal 1? Well, the only answer that we can have is going to be 0. So therefore, I can really rewrite this as 7x plus 0. So therefore, my y-intercept is going to be at the origin of 0 comma 0. So when I go and graph this, remember the origin is where the x and the y-axis intersect. So here's my y-axis, here's my x-intercept. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm just going to go by units of 5. And you, you, know, you just need to adjust um, how your graph is going to be looking. So my slope is positive 7 over 1. That means my change in y is 7. So I'm going to go up 7. And my change in x is positive 1. So I'm going to go over 1. I'm sorry, I forgot to graph my initial y-intercept, which is at 0, 0. I can now connect those two points. If I wanted to go down in this negative direction, I could rewrite this as a negative 7 over negative 1. Because negative 7 divided by negative 1 still gives you a positive 7. So if my change in y is negative 7, I go down to negative 7. And if my change of x is negative 1, I go to the left one. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is your graph, where you can see that the graph has a y-intercept at 0, comma 0, and also an x-intercept at 0, comma 0. So it's pretty important when you see something like this, when, there, when you see a y-intercept of 0, you can determine that when it's in slope-intercept form that your x-intercept is also going to be at 0. Um, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph your linear equation. Thanks.